Good morning, Eagles, and happy Monday. Today is March 23rd, 2020, and this is Mr. Trezar bringing you the math problem of the day. What they really did on the moon. Astronauts have lots of adventures beyond eating space ice cream. In 1969, Neil Armstrong landed on the moon and planted an American flag on it, which then fell over when the lunar module took off. Other flags planted since then have all been bleached white because there's hardly any air on the moon to weaken the sun's light. On the Apollo 14 mission, Alan Shepard hit a golf ball which flew six times as far as it would on Earth thanks to the moon's weak gravity. And during Apollo 15, David Scott dropped a feather and a hammer, which fell at the same speed since there was hardly any air to help the feather float. It would be fun to go to the moon and play these games. Too bad we all need air to breathe. Alright, here's some math problems. For our little ones, our wee ones, if astronauts have planted six American flags on the moon, and you fly there and plant one more, now how many flags are there? Little kids. If on Earth you can jump two feet in the air, and on the moon you can jump three times as high, could you moon jump over a five-foot flag? What do you think? For our bigger kids, if objects stay in the air six times as long on the moon as on Earth, how long would your fancy four-second high-dive somersault take on the moon. And bonus question, Armstrong said they had taken one small step for man, but that step was probably four feet long. If we normally step 16 inches, how many times as long was their small step on the moon? All right, the answers to these and then the second math problem of the day will come out tomorrow. So good luck, write down your answers, and stay tuned tomorrow when I will give you the answers and bring our second problem of the day. Have a wonderful Monday, everybody.